Hello, welcome to part 2, okay, where we will be publishing our data. So now, without further ado, let me create a action object to do the publishing, a pub, and it will be a function block diagram, okay. So firstly, okay, to control my, okay, to control the function block, right, I will be creating a timer, okay, T on and insertion a t on object okay and with it i will fill it up later next okay i will create another block so this time we will be adding our publish block okay so where we will be publishing the different things okay so then execute will actually execute is the variable where you send a message whenever it turns on a rising edge so I create a variable to send the publish okay and then on payload okay we'll need to put in a message hello world okay oh and the thing is it is a pointer to a byte okay so for this problem you need to use a pointer so at this point let's go okay not sure whether this will work but let's well payload size will be uh okay wait this is a bad idea okay <laughs> i will instantiate a variable x send message which is a string okay and with a default value of hello world okay so I will send this message I will send I will send a pointer to this specific string and payload I will actually do into the word the length of the string itself Okay, this will be able. Okay, and quality of service, it's a concept they will discuss another day. So if you really like this video, yeah, just like, share, and subscribe, and ask for more amazing content. Oh, if you want me to talk more about MQTT. Okay, but uh, I'll just assume you all know everything first. So next thing is, uh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, okay, we need to add our client that we created earlier, okay? and then over here oh wait let me turn off my camera because <laughs> it's not very fruitful okay yeah i'm s okay and we can create a topic for the thing to come in for example let's say tx slash uh, message okay so this is the topic where the data will be published to oh and i need to use it as a w string Okay, so let us create a variable to cre create this now. Okay, so let's see, w string topic. Okay, it will be a long string with an initial value of tx message. Okay, so now and then, okay, time out. Uh, I think I can just keep it empty. Now as usual, be easy. Next, pop done. And I don't really want to know this because you'll print it out for me. And I'll put an assignment for x pop to see if there's any error. Okay. Ideally, I don't expect any error. But well, let's go. Things happen. Why not? Okay. So this will give me my very simple sending logic. Okay, let me remove this timer first. Later, I will come back to this. Okay, and then commented state. And we will trigger our own message from over here and we see whether we can see the data. Okay, so let's go with a download. Okay, so while you're downloading, let us go into our AWS IoT call again 
there is actually a MQTT test client okay so it's for you to connect to specific things that you are publishing to so just now my topic is actually TX slash message I can subscribe to this okay and once I am done oh no something wrong Okay. Hi. fun ne. Okay, give me a while. Ah. Yeah. So I forgot I need a double quote for W string. Okay. So now and I also forgot to call the app publish action. Okay. So let us go in. Okay, run. Okay, so if all goes well, I should be able to connect like last time. Ding, connected. Okay, so now from the publish code, let us send a message and the publish is done. So now going back to the MQTT test client, I received the hello world. Yay! So that means your connection has no issues. So now I just say if you want to, I'm gonna set put a timer so that I will periodically send this hello world. Okay, so mm, yeah. So at this point, you think like, oh, okay lah, I know everything already lah. Now uh, why should I continue watching this video? Oh, well, uh, up to you lor. <laughs> okay. So for now, I will continue to do this. Okay not send and then maybe I will have a TX uh, maybe every three seconds uh, huh? okay yeah do try not to put too much data too fast otherwise you might lose a lot of money okay so every time my timer turn to zero I should be uh, causing it to publish right okay then let's see I will add another line. How do I add another line? Insert another network. Ah, wait. Okay. Then I will actually look for a box. I want. I need to do a if statement. Okay. If does it matter? Oh no, does not work like this. Okay, <laughs> give a moment. Okay, I'm going to call execute block and then we will run it. Okay, so whenever, uh, let's just put it to true. So it always run because I'm not very sure how to write this. So if t on 0 dot q, if time is rich, then and Okay, wait. I will just copy everything so you don't even watch me type. Okay, so I created a structured text block. Okay, to control the sending. So if whenever, yeah, once I turn on the uh, X send, okay, okay, so no, right. Once I turn on the X start, I will actually make sure that the timer starts running and then and and I will check once the time is reached, right? I will try to send the data. I will try to publish the data, okay? Well, and only when the publish is done, right? Then I will reset the timer. I reset the flags to publish and to send. And I will do the, eh? Uh, yeah. And then I will run the timer again, okay? So, this should be a simple code. Okay, so if I log in and then connect, connected, okay, and okay. So, well, let me run the thing a little bit. Okay, and then, okay, just to be safe, you'll see that the messages are running. 
every three seconds. Okay, one message is come in. Please stop the data. Okay, before you start sending too many messages. Okay, this can be a this can lead to some very amazingly huge cost on AWS, especially if you set the timer too low. Okay, but generally I think even on the free tier you have like a one. 500,000 messages so you shouldn't exceed it in most normal use okay now just be careful so this is a simple example of publishing a hello world so I have already prepared so that you do not okay so let's link it up to our sensors as usual I have a function block for my sensor itself okay and it has a decodes the data and also it has an added function to collate all the data into a format that looks like a JSON file okay Sli slightly like a JSON file with its with a device name and a key or oh, with a key and a value okay except that this doesn't have a lot of the new line okay to segment it into the different uh, yeah to make it look neater but this will generally work okay so when I run an example you will see that okay so after magically adding some code right after pausing the video okay I'm passing the sensor data from my modbus RTU into my sensor block and this sensor block itself will actually create and generate the data as a JSON file okay so you can see oh I did not okay and then I will call this template and then you create a template out okay so let me go okay so going back to the publish file okay I will add another two lines okay okay oh I think that my publish topic is this okay let's just say it's this and I have a publish message called uh, okay send message okay and that should be all so when the time is up I will actually change the topic into this format and I will call the JSON file okay the JSON creation creator to create the message okay with an additional imp input so that uh, I will be able to add the any uh, additional uh, data like for example the serial number or in this case I'm actually putting in the model of the data itself okay but doesn't matter you can edit your code in your own way and you will send the data periodically okay so let's just say that log in <laughs> okay so uh, it's not changing it's because I'm going to the wrong message okay so just to let you know the topic right okay whenever you want to subscribe okay you can use a plus to describe that this is actually a wow card so anything can come in okay so it can be one two three four five or something okay so over here you see I'm sending and I'm receiving my messages okay so I need to stop this before I lose money ah, okay <laughs> it's not exactly a very good example but yeah so this is a simple example where you can publish the messages okay. okay so now you I have already shown you a simple example of passing the data up to the cloud okay so maybe in a third video I will show you how the how you can use this data to send it to a database on AWS IoT. Okay, so stay tuned. Bye.